deep breath. One, two, three. So I have stage four cancer, which is the worst. Normally it's a death sentence, but uh, it's fight time. I don't quit. If you're a champion, champions don't quit. And I've been a champion all my life. And um, I never asked why I got it. Uh, I just started fighting. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Fight. That one man is Howard Davis of Glen Cove, New York, the American lightweight, the Olympic lightweight. In my first fight in the Olympics, my mother had passed away. Oh, a quick right really got to Davis. What a shock. Despite the obstacles he had to overcome, Howard Davis Jr. went on to win the Olympic gold medal in 1976. I would throw that gold medal away in a heartbeat for life. It's probably the hardest fight of my life. Because now you're dealing with life. You're not dealing with metaphors. You know, you get knocked down, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm worried about Howard. Um, Howard has uh, metastatic, non-small cell lung cancer. I think anybody else with his disease would be laid up and look very sick. And so that's always encouraging when I see someone like that, I'm like, wow, this guy's, you know, he's got to fight. Well, you know, how do you prepare for cancer? You don't. It, this is not something Howard and I had planned for. You know, we, we had planned for our daughter. We had planned our business. You know, we had planned our lives. These therapies that, that Howard is doing are not cheap. I do expect that we're going to have to go to the latest and greatest techniques with Howard. But unfortunately, this is going to be a long road ahead. This isn't just a couple of sessions and Howard is going to go home and get on the heavy bag and start boxing or anything like that. This is for life. The Howard Davis Jr. Foundation came about uh, not only to help Howard and for research and to help with what Dr. Rosenberg wants to achieve, but we want to help other people too that may be going through the same thing that Howard and our family is going through. Let me just say this, there's never a boring moment with Howard Davis Jr. He's very funny, he's a nerd, and he really, really would leave everything if he could start a band and travel all over the country. So I'm always shooting for the stars, and hopefully I'll land on the moon if I fall short of the stars. So, <clears throat> that's always been my mindset in the worst of times, which is now. You know, I'm still aiming for the stars, you know. If I land on the moon, it's still hot, you know. But, I don't know, I just feel like I'm gonna beat it. <laughs>